Hello, hope all is well. So I thought I'd uh, do a quick video, I'll just be talking this time about string tension. Seeing as I just got uh, the Gretsch baritone on which I did a video like a week or so back, that has a really long scale length, uh, 29 and three quarter inches. And uh, when you're tuning down, uh, it can be a bit of a minefield trying to decide, well, what string gauge uh, would be best or ideal for my liking, for my style of playing. And it can be quite difficult sometimes to choose the, the right sort of string gauge. So in order to save time and I guess money, hopefully, I thought I'd put this together how to best find the sort of string gauges that you will like, especially when tuning down. So some of you might be familiar with something called a string tension calculator. So you've probably seen a website like this one from Stringjoy, uh, which is one I've used in the past, where you can put in, say, your scale length, uh, the number of strings you're using, and then also the different pitches for the different strings that you're, you're after, and then you'll get the tension in pounds here on the right. Uh, but one I've found recently, which uh, is I've found quite useful at least, and is really quick to set up, is uh, this one. Uh, the website is uh, a bit cryptic, but I'll put the link in the description. It's a calculator that someone set up uh, on GitHub, and it's really quick in not only finding the sort of uh, tension that you currently have on a guitar that you like, but also comparing it to other guitars that you set up within the website. So I'll show that one here. So this is the window you first get when you load this up on the website. So first off, we'll set the unit to pounds and inches. As I find it's a bit easier, especially when looking at scale lengths, as they're usually written in inches. Uh, you can, of course, do the conversion if you like. You hit New Guitar, and we get this window here. And what's really cool about this string tension calculator is that you've got, say, the normal or multi-scale. So you can select if you have a multi-scale guitar to figure out, okay, which uh, strings would fit best there. And then you have this window below where you can go between your usual uh, string sets for six string, seven string, and eight string. And then you have different tunings below. So in this instance, uh, you know, we'll go for a normal, um, a normal string gauge uh, on the guitar, sorry, scale length on the guitar. And we'll go for uh, a Gibson scale length, so 24.75. Uh, and we'll go for a set of 10 and 46. So the way I do this is I take a guitar that I really enjoy playing and that I find that, yeah, the string tension's pretty much perfect or the best to my liking. And I take that as a bass. And that's what you can do here on, say, the first guitar setup that you have here. And then using that, you can use these values for each string to really dial in what sort of string gauge you want on, say, a lower tuned guitar. And the really cool thing about this string tension calculator um, that I haven't seen elsewhere, at least, feel free to uh, comment below if there are others like this, because I, I really enjoy this kind of stuff, is that you can hit uh, a new guitar and add as many as you want, basically, alongside the initial kind of string gauges that you really like. So I added three here, but we'll take these two off, and then we'll set up the second guitar to match, uh, or at least closely match, uh, these sort of ideal string gauges that we like on this first guitar. So for the second example, I'll actually use my Ibanez RGD, which is a 26.5 inch scale length, and we tune in drop B uh, for Droga, which is a metal band I'm in. And uh, here we can see with a 1046 set, you know, the, the string gauges, you know, the tension isn't enough. And the quick thing we can do here is that we can simply look at different, you know, standard guitar sets um, that are out there and click on those to see if, well, maybe one of those might be suitable for the tuning that I'm in. So we'll try, say, a Daddario 13 to 62. And we can see there's way too much tension here on uh, sort of the middle strings, which tend to be the kind of issue most of the time in terms of tension. So we're looking for around like the, you know, 15 to 18 pounds um, tension there. And here we're way over. So um, we'll try a slightly lighter string gauge. So let's say a set of uh, 12s uh, with only ball. So 12 to 56, you can see it's uh, already a bit better, 
but there's still too much tension on these middle strings. Let's try this balance set. So 11 to 50 below. And uh, we can see that on the higher strings, we're actually about right. So we'll be looking at around 11 and say 15 up there and even there, that's just about right. And it's the lower strings that we need to tweak. And there it's really easy. We can click these uh, drop down menus, uh, hit below here, and then try different strings. You can also click, uh, click again, and then use the up and down keys, which is a lot quicker. So for, say for this string, this is uh, a bit lighter, which would probably work all right. Um, but usually I find that on like, uh, at least lower tuned guitars, slightly heavier gauges is not such a bad thing. Um, you know, you'll never get, or rarely get the exact same tension as on like a standard tuned guitar. But having a bit more tension, especially on the lower tunings, I find can kind of help and I quite like it. So in this instance, yeah, let's go for say a 30 there. And then on the second string, it's a bit lighter. So uh, let's go down a bit. Let's try a 38, still a bit too light. 39, that's not quite right. 40, 42 is a bit, a bit more. And 40 is pretty much bang on. And what you can do is also, you know, level it out so the string tension is fairly equal across these sort of strings and really dial something in to your liking. As said, you can select the exact string set or the string gauges that you're used to using at say a standard tuning that you really like, and then you basically convert those values at a lower tuning. So in this case, uh, let's go for that. So a 40 there and a 30 there. And then for the low B in this case, I know it says E there, but the tuning is set there. Uh, we're still off, so we'll try a heavier gauge string. Um, 52, getting there, 56, it's a bit below. And so 59 uh, is probably about right. Um, 58 would be better, and that's, I guess, one of the limitations uh, on this string tension cal calculator, sorry, that you don't have all the increments. Now, the thing here is that um, this is basically like a custom gauge string set. And a quick tip, if you're looking to find, say, on a, a drop, uh, a drop tune guitar on lower tunings, you can sometimes find something close to these values on seven string sets. So I'll bring up some examples to illustrate that. So taking this example, so we're looking at like an 11 to 59, 58 would probably be all right uh, with these sort of values. If I take uh, an Ernie Ball, a seven string set, and here we have an 11 to 58, uh, and we can discard one of the strings, which is something that you can do. So 11, 14, 18, which is uh, a slightly below what we have up there, but it might be all right. You know, it's a slightly lighter tension, but it'd probably be all right. And then a 28 and a 38 below that. So we're slightly below the tension values that we have here, but we can also test that here. So if I put in those only ball numbers, so it was 11, 18, 28, and 38. It's a light attention here, and the 59 will probably be around the 16 and a half or so pounds of tension. And uh, sorry, there's a 14 there. So it's a bit lighter up above, but that would actually probably work out all right if that's something that you want to test. Or another example here, um, there's the Elixir uh, seven string set, uh, medium, which is 11 to a 59 down there, and it has a similar kind of string gauges to that Ernie Ball set that we just looked at. Obviously, the prices are quite different here. Elixirs will be uh, a pricier string as it's coated, and the Ernie Balls will be less expensive, although they also do coated strings. So maybe your favorite string manufacturer uh, makes something fairly close to the string gauges you're after, and that's something that you can pick up. However, if you're buying sort of uh, seven string sets or even eight string sets for like uh, a six string baritone or a six string that's tuned lower, you're paying more money for extra strings that you won't use and that you end up either throwing away and you're paying more for something that um, you don't really, well, you don't need essentially. So what I've been doing the last couple of years uh, is ordering uh, custom gauge string sets. 
as I'm in Europe, um, I order mine through Pyramid Strings, uh, which I've brought up here. They're based in Germany. The website's in German, I believe, uh, from what they've told me. They're working also on an English website and also uh, a proper sort of custom uh, shop, as you see the link here, um, link so that you can order custom strings perhaps more easily. Uh, and they have it at the moment, it's in German. And as they make strings for a wide variety of uh, stringed instruments, there's a lot of information uh, to put in here. But what I do, and I'll put the information below, I send them an email uh, to uh, this email address, so pyramid at junger.de. And I put in the type of strings that I want. And I have different strings up here. So I use the nickel plated steel, but they do other string types, of course. And then I put in the exact string gauges that I want. So in the case of uh, a custom order for my RGD, I would say put in these values when ordering it. So an 11 plane, a 15 plane, a 19 plane, a 30 wound, a 40 wound, and a 59 or even a 58 wound um, of like uh, nickel plated steel from them. So I've been doing that the last couple of years and it's made things a lot easier because then I can just, uh, once I've found the sort of string tension that I like on the lower tunings, I can just throw in an order and I have you know four or five packs that last me uh, a couple of months, depending on how many string changes I feel like doing. And uh, that's been working really well. And then this is the thing when you're using this uh, string tension calculator, at least for much lower tunings, depending on which string is selected, the, the actual pitch doesn't go down far enough. So the way around that is uh, you take, say, uh, an eight string set. Let's take, uh, say, this one. And um, the lower strings will be tuned accordingly, if that makes sense. So a low F sharp would be an F sharp one. And so this would be correct for, say, the baritone in standard F sharp tuning, which is very low. And the only thing to do here is then to take off those two top strings. And then with uh, the rest of the tuning and the string gauges, we can find something that suits uh, that tuning. So I hope that was useful. I realize it's, it's quite nerdy. But I find that this really helps when you're trying to dial in, especially the feel of like a lower tune guitar. Because if, um, you know, if you're used to a certain string tension and you go to a guitar where, you know, especially lower tuned, where you might have, you know, way too much tension, way too much. I mean, it's personal preference. But I find for me at least is when there's just way too much tension, you'll be picking harder and it'll be harder on your, your fingers as well. So that makes things a bit more difficult to play. And then uh, you can dial things in to, uh, to really suit your style of playing and make things more comfortable, easier to play, and sort of benefit from those things in the process. So I'll put the various links in the description below. So this string tension calculator, the Stringjoy one, and also the information on uh, how to order custom pyramid uh, string gauge sets directly from them. If you're in Europe, it's uh, a really easy and quick way uh, of getting like a really good set of custom gauge strings specifically for your guitar without having to deal with um, what you might be doing until now, which is buying maybe, you know, two different string sets uh, from your usual manufacturers and then, you know, uh, sort of pick and mix <laughs> different string gauges or ordering uh, you know, a seven string or an eight string set just to get the right string gauges and then paying more and throwing extra strings away. So I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, please drop a like and subscribe because it really helps me out. Thanks.